big faults and remedies. There are many reasons for the cake faults. For example, the first one is when you are selecting the ingredients. If you don't select the right kind of ingredients, their quality is not good, you are not going to have good cake. Therefore, the best quality ingredients should be purchased for cake baking. Then second is improper balancing of the formula. And third one is operational mistakes. Because of th these three mistakes, sometimes we don't get the cake which we desire. As I've said, wrong quality of raw material. I had given the example earlier also that if you use strong flour, that contains more of the protein content like 11 12 percent that is not desirable because in that flour when you will do the mixing or creaming um, uh, all that kinds of uh, operations gluten will be developed and as a result you will get a small volume cake or sometimes you find that when you bake the cake there is a peach top sometimes you find unslightly cracks on top of the cake uneven texture such cakes they will dry easily they will stale rapidly therefore the strong wheat flour is not to be used you have to use always soft wheat flour containing seven to nine percent protein Similarly, mixing operations. Mixing operations, they should be minimized. And 5 to 10 percent corn flour can also be mixed with the wheat flour to dilute the gluten, to reduce the amount of gluten. You know that gluten is not as such present. It is uh, only during... Uh, the kneading of the wheat flour for example when you add water then the gluten is developed but in the cake also when you do the mixing and all those kinds of things in the presence of liquids and then um, gluten is developed that is why we say that when you are mixing the flour that should be with the very light hands and it has not to be done vigorously if at the same time if you use very soft wheat flour, weak flour, that will not give you good results too. It will not be able to carry the sugar and fat and cake will be very poor in volume. It will be unable to carry the amount of liquid which you have added in the recipe. Crumb at the base will be compact. If you are using fruits in the cakes, they will uh, sink at the bottom you will get crumbly texture which is not good therefore the flour has to be of good quality of the desired protein content and then you will get the good results of course it should be creamy in appearance white in appearance and not pale then sugar sugar is another ingredient if you use uh, very large crystals of sugars they will not dissolve during mixing and cake will have harsh crumb it will have poor eating quality it will have rapid staling when you will eat the cake then you will find uh, you will feel the uh, sugar uh, crystals in your mouth there must be sufficient water in the formula to dissolve the sugar other defects like white specks, they occur on the top crust which spoil the appearance of the cake. Too large or too small crystals of the sugar are not desirable because they will not cream up well and texture and volume will not be good. Therefore, castor sugar of mid-size crystals should be used. Shortening shortening when you are selecting you should uh, know that it should be smooth and plastic 
it should be able to cream up well and it should hold all the cells air cells which are incorporated during the creaming of the fat granular shortening will not cream up therefore whenever we use uh, this hydrogenated fat we melt it first then we keep it in the refrigerator then the next day we use it for creaming so that it is not granular in structure and granular fat it will not be able to hold up the air cells you will get poor volume of the cake it will have coarse texture if shortening melts during the mixing operations then again the aeration will be lost and it will affect the volume and texture of the cake therefore elastic fat should be used eggs eggs if eggs are old ones they are weak watery eggs they will have very poor wrapping uh, quality and when you are making the batter you will find it will curdle and this will result in poor volume and texture of the cake therefore you should use fresh cake which are at room temperature next comes baking powder baking powder should be stored in cool place dry place in airtight container and uh, it's optional if you are using fruits fresh fruits or canned fruits those fruits should be washed properly if you are using fresh ones then they should be dried before adding uh, them in the cake because if you are using dirty cake surface will discolor the cake and sh fruits should be properly prepared before adding then second category of cake faults are due to the improperly balanced formula if the recipe has not been followed properly you have not taken the ingredients as per the amounts given in the formula you are not going to get good results for example if in your formula you add more sugar then what will happen it will give excessive volume with open texture cake will be too tender to cut and if you use too little sugar you will get very close grain and texture top crust that will set in earlier than the inner portion it will be baked it will become golden brown earlier whereas the inner part of the cake has not been baked because when the inner portion expands it will cause and then ugly cracks on the top of the crust and cake will have pale brown crust color then your eggs if you are using less amount of cake uh, these eggs lack of eggs will make the cake tender to cut specially high ratio cakes lack lack of cakes they will also lead to poor air incorporation they will result in reduced volume of the cakes you will find that the grain will be too compact and closed heat penetration in the cake batter will be poor crust will be of light color it will be thin it will be sticky on the other hand if you use more of the eggs than the formula then you will get a normal volume of the cake the rest will be dark it will be thick it will peel off just like the flakes you will find that the crumb texture texture will be open it will be coarse texture will be rough it will be dry and uh, when there is excessive volume that means there will be more of evaporation of the moisture and the cake will become dry earlier therefore amount of eggs are to be according to the formula baking powder if you add more or less amount of baking powder or baking soda then you are not going to get good results if you are using less amount of baking powder that means 
less of carbon dioxide production it will give less volume to the cake it will become flat on the top there will be poor heat uh, um, and that will result in penetration of the light color tough thick and sticky crust grain will also be like uh, your solid unbaked mass that means you are not going to get good volume you are not going to get good crumb texture you are not going to get good crust but if you are using excessive amount of baking powder more of gas excessive gas uh, production carbon dioxide production and first of all you will find the cake will rise and at the end of the baking it will collapse cake will be dark in color it will be very tender it will have dry crust grains will be open and coarse texture would be crumbly if you have added fruits they will sink in the bottom sink at the bottom then third category of defects are due to the operational mistakes for example first operational uh, mistake flour baking powder salt or baking soda whatsoever you are using dry ingredients you are using in the formula they have to be sifted they have to be sieved sufficiently so that you have even blending of these ingredients and air is also incorporated by uh, sieving uneven blending will result in substandard shape and texture of the cake when during the creaming operation you are adding sugar you have to add sugars gradually in small portions mix it then add more sugar this will ensure better and faster aeration creaming has to be done till you get the mixture which is very light and fluffy meaning if you over mix it over cream it then also it is not desirable because whatsoever air has been incorporated that will go out therefore to a certain extent you have to do it you have to be careful that when it is very creamy and fluffy and at that time you should stop creaming creaming operation therefore has to be done till the batter is mixture is creamy and fluffy then x after the creaming of butter or fat and sugar you have to add eggs eggs are generally added one by one at a time and mixed egg should not be added in one go otherwise sometimes you will find that curling will take place and aeration is lost add one egg then beat uh, with the hand mixer and then after few minutes uh, add another like this you have to do the uh, uh, main addition of eggs after adding eggs now your batter or mixture is fluffy then you stop at that point and start mixing the dry ingredients that is maida salt baking powder etc which have been sieved together you don't have to add dry ingredients in one go those have to be added in small small amounts at one point and you have to mix the maida with the very light hands using the cut and fold methods so that gluten is not developed and at the same time flour is mixed uniformly when you are adding maida simultaneously liquid has to be added otherwise gluten will be developed fruit cake should not be aerated much otherwise fruits will sink down when you are i mean ready with the batter then up uh, you put it in the greased dusted tins and you put it in the oven for baking the temperature of the oven should be if it is to be 180 degrees centigrade it has to be preheated 
at least for 10-15 minutes prior and then in the preheated oven you have to put the cake tins and um, to have the moist cake put water in the oven at least 15 minutes prior to baking and when the baking time is over you have a look with the help of the toothpick you can know whether the cake has been baked properly or not if it is baked properly take it out from the oven cool it thoroughly then you demold these are some of the precautions and the most i have said earlier too that you have to use cake in ingredients which have been kept at room temperature otherwise you will not get good result i hope this will be useful to all the students and those who are interested in baking thank you thank you very much